One of the real um, effects of the pandemic and shutdown is the risk we all take, not just writers but or any creative, but all of us, uh, about our health because we're not doing our normal routines and we may sometimes be quite unconscious really that the things we do regularly all over the place are what contributes to our mobility, our physicality, our mental health, our satisfaction of a whole load of physical and mental and spiritual needs which suddenly disappear when we're locked down and perhaps staying too long in one place. My name is William Horwood. This is one of my videos on writing during a pandemic um, and I want to say something about health and writers. Particularly for writers or creators generally who are sedentary if that, that's how it is for them because it's in the nature of being sedentary and creative that we tend to sit too long. We become obsessed by the work we're doing, rightly so, it's the best way we can do it and we just press on and do it and sometimes for too long. So I just want to share with you some of the basic things I do, not as a health expert, but as some, somebody who's simply done this profession or been a professional writer for, for four, four decades and who simply found what works for him in this case. Uh, you may have a different routine, uh, your routine may be very good, but my observation of writers when I meet them is quite a few are not quite perhaps as healthy as they might be for the very reason that they are sedentary and they focus too much on the work they do. Before I begin briefly about that, let me just say where I am, which is somewhere I regard for myself anyway as a sort of lung to health. It's the park of Blenheim Palace, which is behind me. I am lucky enough to live nearby um, and I'm able to come here from time to time and walk up and down the hill, one of the hills on which I'm standing. And I found that um, for me works. During lockdown I was not able to come here and I had to found, find alternative means but I can now come here and I just want to say these things. Number one in my routine is every morning I go out often before breakfast around about six o'clock, 6.30 when I get up to actually stretch my body and walk. That's number one. I'll come back to the reasons why and its effect in a minute. At the end of the day of a work I tend also to um, do something similar. There will be a different walk depending where I am and what time I've got and in between. So those are the two things and in between that I have a, um, a routine which I have to admit I don't always stick to but I try to as a principle and that is every 45 minutes I've got on my mobile a little alarm which says 45 minutes up and, and it rings. I like it because it's got, it's got a very nice sound. It goes sort of burr dee da dee da dee da and it's a chirpy sound which I like. It gets me out of my chair, away from the computer for a minute, two minutes, three minutes uh, while I stretch and exercise, make a cup of tea, have a pee, whatever it might be um, in that period is, is the little break I need to continue the next 45 minutes and, and continue. Right. So those are the things I do through the day. I tend to work in the morning, uh, roughly speaking, 8 to 8.30 through to roughly speaking midday to 2, depending on how the words are going. I tend to work to a target of roughly 2,000 words a day, which I can't always meet, but I, that's what I aim for. So within that framework, that's how it works. But what has absolutely transformed the walking for me is the fact that I'm able, finally, I'm now able to in fact use a, a, a little app called um, Active 10. So Active 10 is an app, is a, is an app available free. Uh, you can download it and you simply Google Active 10 and it'll provide it. And what it does is to differentiate in your walking between brisk walking and ordinary walking. So if you walk for let's say 50 minutes, which is what I do here in this location two or three times a week if I can, you walk for 50 minutes and if, if of that 50 minutes, 30 minutes is actually active walking, meaning fast or brisk walking, then it'll tell you 30 minutes brisk, 50 minutes overall. Now why I go for 30 minutes is, is it divides the briskness into sections of 10, 10 minutes brisk and that's just great because it means if you've done 
two sessions of 10 out of 40, you know, you only need to do one more that day, maybe in the evening, maybe somewhere else, and you've, you've achieved your target, in this case, of 30 minutes brisk walking. And if I do that three times a week, I know I'm within the range of keeping myself fairly fit. Really simple app, totally free, nothing, nothing complicated, and it may amuse those of you who are more technically minded than myself to know that I didn't even know I had it on my, on my iPhone, as a matter of fact. Um, or, and so I saw it one day, looked at it, and I thought, what the hell is this? And it, there it was, Active 10, and I discovered I'd in fact unconsciously, because it's completely automatic, been, been uh, without me knowing, uh, recording um, my walks over the last year and it was fascinating to see how predictably in the summer I walk more in the winter less and so on so it's a, it's a really good incentivizer that's the first thing I do if you want a recommendation of a book I will always go for to Dr Mosley the TV doctor M-O-S-L-E-Y who's who's written a number of books on aspects of health which are important for writers. He doesn't write for writers, but the books are applicable to write a writer's life or a creative life, a sedentary life. And the one to look at is called Fast Exercise. And I believe if you read that book, you'll get a sense of the science between this very nice notion that you really only have to get your cardiovascular system going up maybe three times a week to a level of about 30 minutes and, and actually that's what you need to do to remain pretty healthy and combine that book fast exercise with active 10 and I think for writers that's a simple solution to keeping fit along with my every 45 minutes getting up and stretching yourself now many of you will know all this much better than I do some of you will have a better, much better system than I'm suggesting and I'd be really grateful if you press the subscribe button, you get your notifications and you inform me, if you will, there's a way of contacting me which is very clear via my website or any, any way like that, or the, even the comments um, in the YouTube video that you'll be seeing of this, really inform me of how you yourself do it. Let's, let's share the best ways. Everybody is a bit different, but for me, this is a fundamentally easy approach. Good luck with it, share it with me, press subscribe, get your notifications and let's enjoy this conversation uh, that has now begun uh, during the pandemic.